G'day guys, Steve Diazzi here, signing in for the next portion of my Let's Play for Bioshock. In the last episode, Julie Langford was murdered at the hands of the one and only Andrew Ryan, our one and only friend down here. Well, it's for Atlas, I guess. Um, but regardless, she was our one hope for restoring Arcadia. Fortunately, we were able to locate a couple of audio diaries to tell us how to create the Lazarus Vector ourselves. Which has led us here to far the farmer's market, um, where we will hopefully find some enough distilled water and B enzymes to create the Lazarus vector. Anyway, B enzyme. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. Well, hopefully we can find the bee farms, and hopefully the bees have been rudely spitting all over the place. Bye. And if you're wondering what she was distracted by, it's that. <laughs> Alright, let's use Winter Blast. I really should be taking more photos. Ow! Apparently the torrent doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> Action shot! Yes, getting shot by the freaking torrent. Bye. Aha! Trying to attack me now. Uh, if you are taking camera f uh, shots of the torrents, uh, don't bother trying to take photos of them after you've hacked them because it won't work. And you definitely should be taking photos of them because they do actually yield uh, gene tonics themselves. I never actually think to because usually I just winter blast them or electro shot th shock them and hack them. So I don't have much use for anything else that would be effective against them to kill them because I don't usually kill them. Oh, well, anyway. Eve Link 2. Alright. <clears throat> oh, this is not in short, so we can get this. Get more Eve with every first aid kit by... Wow! I put on a freaking accent. Every first aid kit by... Using new Eve Link 2. That probably sounded more easy than my regular voice, though. <laughs> uh, so the idea is that it's an upgrade to Eve Link 1 and gives you more, even more uh, help, uh, Eve from first aid kits. G'day, g'day! Um, for vending machine. So in case you needed any more proof that some of these hacking minigames can be real pieces of shit, I couldn't possibly have won this. So, yeah, there are actually some, sometimes when you do the hacking minigame, even before you start, you are doomed because you cannot win it. Um, and if that actually happens, I'll actually take you through a little bit here. Oh, crap. Um. Oh, no! Not good. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Alright. All right, let's concentrate and talk at the same time. All right, so like I just showed you, not just then. Ah, god damn it. Oh, thanks. I don't know if I can actually do this. Nope, can't. Wow, this is going really well. That's just auto hack. I'll show you what the um I'll show you what I wanted to show you next time. Oh, hello. Like right now. Alright, so like I showed you, there are some some of the hacking mini games you can't actually complete. They're literally impossible. So you are actually uh, gambling a little bit 
uh, when you choose to hack it because it's not like I said it's not guaranteed that you'll be able to hack even be able to hack it um, and if it actually, that actually happens and you find yourself in a position where you cannot possibly uh, uh, get the metallic fluid to the exit pipe then you're basically going to have to choose the lesser of two bad endings by making sure to avoid either one of these two tiles here um, because if you can't get it to the exit pipe you're gonna get the machine's gonna short circuit and you're gonna get hurt you can't avoid it unfortunately but at least try and avoid the um, overload and the alarm tiles because if the metallic fluid hits the alarm tiles that'll actually set off an alarm and security bots will come after you and you'll have to sh use the uh, bot shutdown station um, and if it the fluid gets to the overload tiles, the overload tiles will essentially do even more damage than a regular short circuit will. So I know it sucks that um, the game basically screwed you over and you can't possibly get it, but um, at least you can avoid major damage or a lot of trouble. Now I know that there's a security camera around here. I think it's up th 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 there. It is. Did I just take your sentry bot? So yes, completely ignore him just so I can hack this security camera. <laughs> Never mind the fact that he's shooting me. Kill him! Kill him! No, unfortunately, that means he doesn't lo leave anything. Now for the... Because I know that... Oh, actually, no, I might be wrong. Excuse me. placed our hand on the great chain of endeavor. My hand is on it. Fontaine's is on it. We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there next to mine. Alright, hopefully I uh, remember not to edit that out. And sorry, I couldn't actually avoid that security turn. Um, but it really sounds like uh, Ryan's having a bit of a crisis of conscience about some of the things that happened that he allowed here in Rapture. He's actually trying to spread the blame out about what happened to the Little Sisters, even though it was him who gave the go-ahead for it. I mean, if he had said no, then the little sisters never would have, and the big daddies would never have come to be. It was him who decided, yes, let's go ahead, let's create these monsters, let's completely screw up both a little girl and a grown man. And yes, all the big daddies actually are males. If the name Big Daddy didn't actually give it away. Just like all the little sisters are females. You're kind of on fire there. You want to do something? About oh, okay, there you go. Hello? Where is he? No, it's good. Oh, I thought I almost killed him for... I oh, already almost had him dead for a second there. Ah, oh, there you are! I don't don't want to stand in front of you. It's probably a bad time to take his photo, but I really should. Oh! Okay, I got the little sister. The little sister is, you can't... Obviously, yes, you can take photos of them as well, even though they're... Sorry about that. Uh, even though they're not actually enemies, and they will actually yield a um, gene tonic as well. As well as, um, usually increases to health and eve. Obviously they won't yield damage increases. Alright. 
but I definitely advise, uh, if anything, if you choose any of the enemies to take photos of, so you can get uh, an edge on them, pick the big daddies. Because they will actually ramp up in power pretty bloody... quite a lot. Um, when they upgrade. So you'll be in tr a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, okay, I almost died. You'll be in a lot of trouble uh, fighting them later on if you haven't uh, researched them up. Rescue. And we're taking forever just getting there, getting, to, oh, sorry. You're welcome, little sister, don't worry. We're taking forever just to get to where we need to go to get the distilled water. And... I just auto-hacked that. Um, and there's actually a um, audio diary just around the corner here that'll tell us where to find some distilled water. Water and wine. In ten years in this dump, I've come to accept the very lowest standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic Trudeke down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. One thing I've noticed, maybe it's just me, about uh, about French people and media, everything seems to be female to them. Even water, that apparently apparently now has a gender, it is female. The French have discovered it. Yes, bees. Bees. I'll probably be doing that a lot. Ah, bees! No, bees! Bees! Alright, so here we are, anyway. Obviously in the apiary. I keep forgetting that word. I keep thinking aviary, but that's birds. Alright, so don't search this be beehive, by the way. Um, because there's bees in it. Oh, it's actually hornets, I think. No, it's bees. Sorry. The reason why I was thinking of hornets is because if you actually check the gatherer's garden here, you'll actually find we have a new plasmid. Insect swarm. This is actually one of my favorites. Uh, releases a swarm of stinging insects that attack multiple enemies. Um, let's replace Cyclone Trap, even though I didn't use it. <laughs> Evolve today! Um, and I think I'll actually buy another plasmid slot. Look how many plasmids we can now equip. Five total plasmids. And I'm going to bring back Incinerate. Just because I like it. Alright, now have a look at Insect Swarm. Look how sick his hand looks. Like he looks really ill because he's got hornets just crawling through his hand. Anyway, so yeah, Hornets, uh, Insect Swarm, I mean, is, oh, actually, I should pick this up anyway. Adam explained. So yeah, the effective atom on the human body is kind of like uh, cocaine. You know, you take co you take a little bit of cocaine, you get your high, and then you need more later, and then you need more next time, and then more and 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 more, and the eventual result is what the splicers have become. 
So, yeah, it's a pretty tight hold. All right, so as you can see, the apiary is full of bees. Who would have guessed? Um, obviously, we can't just... Well, you can. You can just walk in there. They're not actually insta-kill. Um, uh, but to shear away the bees, we're going to use the smoker control. And that basically gives us a limited amount of time to check this room for enzyme samples. And be very careful, some of these beehives have bees in them still. <laughs> and now is the time that the uh, splices seem to want to attack us. Bees! Bees! Alright, apparently our hornets are not affected by the smoke. All right, so try to try to keep your mind on your work, unlike what I was just doing. Bees! And how bad is this? Look what I'm about to do to him. Fire! Fire and bees! Fire bees! That would have to be one of the worst ways to go. On fire and getting stung by bees. All right, anyway. So... Obviously, the smoke's run out. The bees are now back. Alright, so once you pull the smoke control, I'll shut up for a second so you can hear the tick tock. Alright, so that tick tock is basically telling you how much time you have until the smoke dissipates and the um, bees will be back flooding the room. You want to be out of there by then. Bees! No! No bees! Bees! Of course, if any of the um, splicers also get trapped in there, there's no real need to help them out or anything. Go away. Go away. Go away, just go away. Alright, fortunately, if you check over... Ah, oh, crap. Ow, ow, bees! If you check over here, you'll find uh, a circus of values. Uh, which you can buy some first aid kits from. Um... I know how I was saying I wouldn't buy napalm, but I just did. What you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? No, I don't want to challenge you guys. Alright, so, if you haven't picked up on it by now, every time you enter the room with the smoke control activated, um, more splices will come after you. Now as you can see, the enzyme sample isn't exactly abundant. Bees! I mean, I know they're hornets, but I don't think hornets is sounds as good. Hornets! No, see? It's not as good. Bees! Bees! <laughs> I know I'm probably annoying you guys, but I really enjoy doing that. Stop bloody shoot me! Fuck off! Go away! Bees! Oh no, bees! Bees! Alright, this is taking way longer than it should be. Alright, I gotta bu buckle down. Sorry guys, I've been messing around a little bit. Go away. Ow, 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 ow. So you can just tank the hits from the bees, but um, I wouldn't advise it. Ah, oh, bees! Six out of seven. I can't. Oh, there we go. Bees! Bees! I sound like a bloody. <laughs> God damn it, buzz. I don't know why it's so fun. I just like doing it. Go away! Go away! 
Oh, bees! Um, is there another... Ah, uh, crud. No, oh, screw it. I want to get to that circus of values. And I don't think I've searched all these splicers. And what a bloody quinky dink. Same time that we've got enough enzyme samples is the, is the time that uh, the splicers stop attacking us. Okay, maybe not. Quick, get out! Uh, bees! Ah, uh, bees! Ah, uh, bees! God damn it! Alright, alright. Alright, bees. You can keep your house. I wasn't actually after your house. I was just after your spit. Alright, so we have enough spit. All right, one more. Bees! Aww. <laughs> I probably won't stop doing that. <laughs> um, I'll probably do it every time I use insect swarm. Anyway, uh, so we're at almost 25 minutes. That's enough for this episode. Uh, so we have an now have enough B enzyme. Uh, we now need to collect the seven still water from Wally Winery. And then hopefully we will be able to return to the Arcadia Research Labs and create the Lazarus Vecta. And hopefully, once again, we will not die of deoxygenation again between this episode. Because, I mean, this is three episodes now that we have just waiting between episodes. Well, it hasn't happened the last two times, so... A bit. Alright, that was me holding back a burp. Um, alright, hopefully we can find enough for the Lazarus Vecta, hopefully we can make it. Alright, next episode. Alright, so for now this is Steve the Aussie, signing out, good day, and goodbye. Bees!